Uh, well, my name is David. Uh, I'm the COO of uh, Homa Syndrome Bahad. I graduated in USM, Applied Physics, Geophysics. Um, basically, it has nothing to do with uh, the industry that I'm currently in now. Well, uh, of course, maybe the only thing that has a little bit to do with what I'm doing right now is uh, business studies, which I minor in uh, when I graduated in the year 2008. Lah. I worked for more than 10 years in other fields, specifically the tyre industry. I know how it's like uh, because uh, it used to be I have to bring my business to meet clients instead of clients having something that they can refer to. Like basically like what we can do nowadays when we are online. So, um, we started out as Homa, not Homa to you. Homa to you is a uh, basically just not an e-commerce website but it's actually a platform for contractors, renovators, interior designers, end users, buyers, purchasers, everyone I can think of uh, that is trying to renovate their homes and get ideas to come to like, basically. Homa to you is a place where everyone just you know to come forward, uh, see what they want, get their goods and uh, purchase. So, um, in Homa to You, there's a lot of things. Uh, there's idea books where people can get their ideas from. Thousands of items from furniture, from plants, tiles, laminate floorings, lightings, and a lot more. So we basically Homa to You is just is like a platform for everyone to come to, and we welcome everybody who is in the construction and renovation industry. not just about selling items. Uh. Being online, you can just do about anything. You can build a website, you can build an e-commerce space, you can build a chat room, you can build... There's so many things that you can build. For example, like I said earlier, uh, we are actually here to build a community. We want a whole group of people to come together, like I, I, I said earlier, I mentioned earlier. Uh, renovators, contractors, end users, vendors, it can be anyone from the industry, interior designers, you know. We want all of them to come together in a single location so that they can share their ideas. That will make it like uh, more meaningful for everyone over here. So we have to always remember that no matter what business we build, it has to be community-centric. Community-centric meaning we have to, it, it definitely has to be based on a community. It can go anywhere from saving the environment, you can donate items, you can uh, have people uh, making things more affordable for others who can barely afford them. Um, every business is definitely going for profit. But Homa to you is kind of different because we do it a little bit more responsibly. I got to say this again, we are not just running a platform for e-commerce. We are making sure the community benefits greatly from it. So, IKEA in a way is different from us. I'm not saying that they do not have a community engagement or anything like that. But I think we are more on the ground and we are constantly engaging different stakeholders. I use the word stakeholders because these companies or people are the ones uh, helping Homa to you to realize our own potential over here. Truthfully saying, since Homa is a startup, we started very small. From our founder, Miss Penny Lim, I think so you all should uh, mm -hmm. her. Miss Penny Lim, and um, a very great mentor of us, Bato Michael Teo. Um, the Homa and Homa to you idea was born then. Okay, after they have a discussion and um, you know, uh, she got the idea to do this thing and then uh, that's how we started up. So, we started out doing everything by ourselves while being assisted by a tech company. Basically, we have uh, somebody who assisted us and uh, tell us uh, like you know things that we should do, things we shouldn't do, and all that. But um, the team was still being kept to a very minimal, uh, around six person, as we are not very well to do financially at the time. But starting out as an e-commerce website has given us some traction uh, because we have already already built up uh, the website from the start itself, right? basically. So later on, we switched to a more we find tech company to assist us in gaining traction in terms of uh, SEO and uh, visibility and we have never looked back uh, ever since then. So Homa also operates a physical platform uh, for companies who want to display their items to engage their targeted end user. Basically, you can just uh, 
put your things online at Homa to you. You can also put your things offline over here at uh, Homa Soft, right? The question of going online or not to go online is um, has never been a question to us. We, we definitely know that we have to go online. It's, I think so among the questions that you've been asking me so far, right? This is like the, the easiest question that I, that I have to answer and the most straightforward one. Being online simply means, right, that we are not constrained and restricted by time and space. That's the most important thing. You know, imagine people having, um, you have like, you have a shop and people are going into your shop 24 hours a day. That means you're not cons constrained by time, right? So basically, anyone, anywhere around the world can just come over to your shop. 24 hours a day. So imagining displaying thousands of items without needing to have a physical site, that would be even better. You know, you don't, you do not need to have like 10 shops for you to display all the items. What you need to do is just one online website where you can display everything over there. But of course, doing that, you also have the perks of traveling across Malaysia to serve the consumer that is like maybe 360 kilometers away without you needing to be physically there. You can travel to Singapore and sell your items or your goods to a company over there and uh, you know you do not need to be there as well. So you can sell your goods at 4 a.m. in the morning, 5 a.m. in the morning, 6 a.m. in the morning. You're basically one word I would say. Yeah. It's just limitless. Limitless to what uh, online can do for you. Um, the first website that we had, right, was, um, I will put it, quite a refreshing one. We never thought that, um, when we first have a website, we never thought that a website can be built from scratch. Uh, basically, you know, it's just empty, nothing. And then, script after script, they put in, then uh, you can see how your website slowly grow. It's, it's some sort like, you put a seed in your orchard and then you slowly see the tree grow, and then after that, the fruit grow, and you know, so on. But too bad, we could not pluck the fruits at that particular time. After spending so many months and months building it up, we realized that we are trying our best to send traffic to our that particular website, but the consumers just, they are not just, they, are, they just don't come. So we had a very, very um, deep discussion at that time. We thought that it was deep, but actually it's not. So we were like discussing why does this happen, you know, we are like spending uh, money trying to get consumers to come over to our website and all, but it's just not coming. So finally we figure out, and I'm sure that the rest of the people who are listening to this will have already guessed it, already. Uh, we didn't have a searchable website, basically that's why I'm saying that. So it's not searchable in the worldwide web at that particular moment, so that it's not SEO friendly. It's almost impossible to tear everything down and we script it, especially when so much groundwork has already been uh, made forward. So, uh, we were actually figuring out what we should do because if we were to spend more money into it, it would actually cost us a lot. Uh, so, to make it searchable, we would have spent a lot more too, basically. After many, many, and this, many, many discussions uh, and calculations, we decided that we have to build a new one while maintaining our domain. So basically, we keep our name www.homa2u.com while we build a new one up, which is uh, currently the one that you are seeing right now. It's uh, super searchable. You know, you can just type, uh, I want to find for certain certain tiles and the code and then you can actually see it over there already at our website. So we are always like the top three uh, searchable websites at the moment uh, for the tiles and renovation. I mean as in for the renovation and uh, industry. Uh. For this part I would say we are lucky that we are starting from a store first before the online. A lot of people, you know, they come in and then they straight go to online and after that they are thinking how they want to open a physical store and all that. So I think so that will be a, slightly a little bit harder for them because it's going to be a huge change from having no, nothing, you know, no physical presence to suddenly you want to have a physical presence. For us it's different, we have already have our physical presence so we are very well prepared for the workload here. Mm -hmm. 
having said that, I can straight confess that the workload is really a lot to handle. It's not as easy as people think that it is. Documentations need to be properly aligned in place all the time so that we don't miss any order from our consumers. The majority of the consumers still want to touch and feel an actual product before buying. We already took note on this matter since like uh, when we started off in 2017 itself. Uh, let me put it this way, it's not just about touching and feeling the product that gives a sense of security to the customer side, I would say so. Consumers always look largely at reputation of a company as well. Consumers look for information as well, especially things that they can't possibly know. For example, let's say, if I hand over a chair to you and I ask you, what is this, is this particular chair made of? I hand a plastic chair to you and I ask you, you know, what is this chair made of? You wouldn't possibly know whether it's made from uh, polypropylene, PP or ABS material, right? So all this information needs to come from us who are the sellers or the vendors, I would say so. These are the info that only the vendors would have known. Therefore, it's really important to note that not all the information can be derived from touching and feeling. If a customer trusts you and you are providing them sufficient and precise information, then I think so to make a consumer purchase it from you, right, is not a problem at all. So Homa to you is also moving forward to be far better than that. Alright, so therefore yes, we do list some of our products on their side. However, I would say that um, the results are just uh, average there. I would say some of our items are not made to be fulfilled by a general e-commerce site such as, such as uh, Shopee or Lazada. Because Shopee and Lazada depends very, very heavily on uh, the mobility of a product. The easier for it to be carried and transported and delivered, then uh, the easier it is to sell over there. I would say so. so Renovation and construction products are known to be very transport intensive. The biggest obstacle that Homa faced in the e-commerce business initially is uh, transportation. What I just mentioned earlier, transportation. As I mentioned, our items like towels, sanitary vests, uh, and all those those other bulky items, van blocks and all that, they are usually very heavy and at the same time they are very fragile. They have to be taken care of and uh, you cannot load too many of it and normally one single location would have taken up or two, two locations would have taken up a whole lorry by itself. Really. So you, you can't basically uh, put everything into one lorry and set. So, and at the same time, the lorry driver needs to be very careful. You cannot speed too fast because if you go into a bump and all that, right? Um, those are ceramic products. Ceramic products will break at the slightest of uh, you know movements and all that. So we need an experienced driver to avoid the items being broken during uh, delivery. Shipping and delivery has. I mean, I mean, they, they have always been uh, an issue with e-commerce sites. So Homa to You is running uh, beta. If you notice, uh, Homa to You is actually running beta in uh, Slango, Kuala Lumpur, and uh, Negeri Sembilan. The highest traffic always happened during our warehouse sales. Every time we launch a warehouse sales, uh, it will be crazy. People will be coming to our physical store. At the same time, our website also, you know, the traffic is like so much. Then uh, there's phone calls are non-stop, text messaging also non-stop. So during warehouse sales, we are normally the busiest and uh, we have the most uh, of issuing of invoices and all that. Both the online physical store will have their own part for delivery and often our fulfillment team will have to work extra hard to sort it out. And again, I would like to say I'm very proud of them because they are actually that good you know, uh, in helping me solve this problem. I think we are pretty new for uh, the company as well. We are only three years in, in the business. Well, I, for us, it's 
simple. If you have something that you believe in, you have a product that you believe in, and uh, there's a market for it, I think so e-commerce would be the one of the better options yeah, to market it out. I think there's no need for anyone to build a new marketplace again, seriously, because there are plenty of marketplaces around. What you can do is you choose one of the more reliable marketplaces, you just ride on it first until maybe you have your own customer base, then you want to start a new marketplace by, by yourself, then go ahead. You can have your own Facebook page. Um, please build a good profile for your own website, I would say so, uh, to promote your materials and items, but ultimately link it back to the marketplace where you're selling your items. And um, we must be realistic that people will not come into just any website to put their purchase.